Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you how to draw with a mouse um, with Fire Out Pad Guys, an awesome free software that I recently found. Well, not recently, found found just after I show, I did the paint all side tutorial. So I've made this template using my drawing pad for you guys, all you guys to use. I'm just going to show you how to import it and how to draw over it. So I have this saved to my desktop somewhere. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo, here it is. So what all I need to do is literally just drag it in. Click OK. Done. There it is. Now we're going to want to size this up a little bit. So do Control T and just size it up a little bit like this. Control T, remember that, and click Enter to save it. Anyways, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be adding the skin color and everything else. So how to do this is you're going to grab this tool and you're going to grab the polygon tool and you're going to have rounded corners and just type in 20. Now first thing you want to do is grab your skin colour so it's a mix between the red and orange and just put it about there and yeah let's go just trace on the outside here so there you go that's what it looks like and then get the slightly darker version of this so just click somewhere down here make a new layer underneath and just click from this corner to here to here here. There you go. So that looks like that. Then we're gonna make this bottom bit. So we're gonna want to choose a t-shirt color. I'm gonna choose red, as I like the color red. We're just gonna click around here and here. Oh wait, no, that was wrong. So double click and Control Z. Click here and here and here, here and here and here. Remember, you can click as many times as you want, so it's all good. There you go, there's your t-shirt. I think I'm going to up this a little bit. I think it would be better on 25. So the roundedness is basically the amount that this is rounded around here. All the circle, the corners are rounded. And I think that's slightly better. So we're going to just quickly do this. There you go, it's nicer. And then we'll grab a darker colour and do the, co the uh, sleeves. To make a new layer underneath, and we're just gonna fill in the sleeves. There you go, sleeves. Maybe that should go a bit higher actually. Hmm. There we go. We're gonna grab this color, and we're gonna merge all these layers by doing this. I'm gonna make another layer and go underneath. Gonna draw it, bring this down to here and up. Same with this. And up. Then we're gonna make another layer, put it on top, so beneath this and above this. So beneath the rest and above the arms. And we're gonna grab this the trouser colour. So I'm gonna choose the trouser colour, I'm gonna choose like a jeans kind of colour. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do the exact same as we've been doing, like this. Around here. That's normal. Now, as you can see, this is not touching here, so we're gonna wanna, wanna quickly go back into our layer, this layer, and quick alt, and just choose that, pick that color again. Perfect. And then we're gonna go ahead and grab a darker color of this, so click alt, choose that color and make it slightly darker. And we're just going to go here. Oh, we're going to make a new layer underneath the trousers, sorry. And we're just going to go in and do that. As you can see, it looks quite nice. Looks good to me. I'm going to grab this darker skin colour and we're just going to go ahead under the uh, this colour. I'm just going to go ahead and do that wrong. And add a little bit under here. As you can see, it looks quite nice. Now we can add shoes if you want to. Um, I'll leave you guys to be creative and do that. We're going to add new, merge all those layers and add a new layer on top. We're going to do some hair on this guy. Okay, so his hair is going to be brown. And we're going to do a little fringe. OK, 
Okay. Choose a darker colour and make the rest of the hair. So I'm just going to go down like this. Add a little sideburn there. Here as well. Like that. As you can see, that's kind of nice. I think this needs to be a little bit darker. So what we're going to do is we're going to grab our this tool and we're going to expand by one and we're going to choose this and make it slightly darker a little bit lighter there you go a little bit darker I think. there you go looks good to me eye color I mean eye time and then you can just merge these two hair, hair colors but don't merge it with the uh, this because we're going to put the eyes slightly under the fringe so yeah eyes so we're going to grab the black we're just going to go around, add some eyes, like this. Now, don't worry, these are going to be completely black until we sort them out, okay? So, oop. Or what you can do is make one eye, go Control c and Control v oh, wait, wait highlight it first so grab this tool and just highlight and go control C control V and then do control D to deselect and control T to do this and, oh wait no don't do control T sorry do layer rotate and flip horizontal and then click control T and you can just move the eye over here then what you can do is uh, merge them down and then do the same thing highlight them control C oops control C control V Control X, or wait, no. What you can do is you can highlight these two eyes. Uh, make sure you have this on only layer. Highlight these two eyes, then go select. Uh, no, uh, select contract. Sorry, select contract and contract it by about five. A um, bit more. Select contract. Contract about ten. That looks good to me. And just make a new layer on top, pull these in white, make, your, make sure you're on layer. There you go. Some eyes there. Then we're going to go ahead and add some overalls. So, the overalls, we're going to make them black. Do that. And some more little overalls, we're going to make them white for the glint in the eye. I always like to add that little glint. rid of the blue because we don't need that anymore. Now a little smile. Um, oops. Make sure you use polygon. Now a little smile. Or it's another thing. You can just have a big smile. Hmm. Do that. Hmm. Don't know if I like that. That's the thing. Looks right to me. Awesome. There we go with our Minecraft person that we've just drawn. He's beautiful. It took us 12 minutes, which isn't too bad. Um, you can add, obviously add stuff yourself, uh, we're going to go ahead and merge all these layers, add a little, I'm going to add a little collar actually, like uh, where the collar would be, so, just do that, and then do this, do, 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 do. there we go, bit low, but you get the point, okay, let's be as, as creative as you can, creative as you can with this, uh, it's, um, it's, it's, yeah, so, thank you. Oh, I'll just show you how to save, actually. So, your file, save as. Make sure you save it as a PNG, so people can have transparent background. Click desktop and click, and just call it, I'll call it skin drawing. Spelled wrong. Now, as you can see, it has a transparent background. 
and I'll show you what that means. Uh, say I was to add an image to my OBS, which I'm recording with right now. Um, desktop, Let's add it. As you can see, there's no background on it. It's not white uh, around it. So it can just go over anything. So yeah, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.